Hi, good morning everyone. It's the 30th of July and this is the weekend video by Trading Channels. I'm Borak. So let's kick it off with ES e Minica, uh, S&P 500 contract as usual. The uh, break out of the purple giant bull flag back in March and it's back just twice. Obviously this turned very seriously bullish since then. Um, that was the the real test for bulls and they passed the test back tested it and it kept on rallying of course we had other things like dow jones and nasdaq to to support the idea of bullishness since march and actually even october i will show you on dow jones so and then we are still you can see here the obvious target is the red top band so we have this red channel right there as you can see here that red top band is going to be the next potential major resistance so two touches there two touches here and that makes it a target but also a resistance potential it could get to the golden top band and I'm I'm also uh, expecting a new all-time high the previous all-time high was 4,800 and I think since we're very close to that there is no way we can reverse before coming to a new all-time high in my view we're gonna get to 4,800 that is actually just over just beyond the red top band so either way um, the, on the shorter term, you can see, I'm going to put this on the two hourly, and then you will see the nice green bull flag. This was the spike to the upside because of FOMC this week. And of course, these kind of sort of spikes that started here, these sort of spikes initially, it looks like it's going to sustain but FOMC always gets retraced so it retraced the whole thing it touched this green support and then we had another push now it's trying to break out of this green bull flag for good and obvious uh, obviously we have the target as 4700 750 all the way to the red and golden resistance levels so 750 is the minimum target I think we're going to keep on climbing there this is Dow Jones. <clears throat> Let me show you first the 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 long term view. You can see this blue resistance that has been you can see here and then we broke out after the covid crash and it came down for a back test. But more importantly, that golden bottom band was the perfect touch and we had a major push. So this this year so it had two touches on the top first touch and this was the second touch which confirmed it and then obviously we had a downtrend that was broken to the upside that's where I turned very bullish we broke out of the golden bull flag back tested back tested back tested obviously this was not easy that it didn't get straight away to a new all-time high but now it's doing it you can see after quite a few back tests on that golden broken bull flag we are now out of this resistance level so this is November high December high and you can see how many touches before we broke out it is obviously a major bull flag breakout also this green one okay that green channel so I'm going to put it on the four hour lead for you to see it much more clearer that green bottom band or sorry top band the bottom band we had a really nice breakout now it's pushing further I don't think we're gonna come back for a back test but I wish I it did because, so that we could buy this major back test on that so that major broken resistance zone would become a support that would be 34,800 but I doubt it's gonna get there so all, all in all everything is looking extremely bullish and I think we're going to get to a minimum of new all-time high for Dow Jones in the coming months which is around 
on the futures, which is around 36,800 over 36,800. Um, Nasdaq <clears throat> had also made several major bullish breakouts. One of them was this. So I'm going to show you now, right on the eight hourly, there was a giant um, downtrend or uptrend that was broken to the downside, but then we had a break to the upside. So I'm going to show you that one i had deleted it but because it was already broken big big time so it was this one right that that red bull flag excuse me red uptrend was broken to the downside but then you can see how many back tests it had before it was broken to the upside again because before it was broken back into let's put it that way so i'm going to remove that one and we have also cleared this blue resistance just recently that blue resistance is broken and we have this purple bull flag that is being broken to the upside by friday on friday it was already breaking to the upside so i don't think this market is going to come below this blue support actually if it does back test it maybe monday or tuesday we we should buy that which is around 15,400. i doubt it's going to get there though I doubt it's going to get there, but if it does, we should buy it. That purple bull flag is now three touches on the top to three touches on the bottom. This one is going to be broken to the upside, but if it does come to the 15,400, that would be a dip to buy into. Russell is also looking very bullish. So the long term, you can see this purple resistance. So first, let me show you this that blue support was broken and back tested twice and it came down in 2022 we bounced off this purple broken resistance that support again two times back test we rallied off that level now the black channel is our it's an unorthodox channel but this is our guidance the golden top band which is our 2050 is a is a potential major resistance so we have to be careful about that if it gets to the 2050 and we see a reversal it could come down which is unlikely in my view because this whole market is extremely bullish now the minimum target for me is 2100 which is the back test the third back test of that blue resistance if it pushes on then we should get also to 2300 400 if this blue resistance breaks which is at 2100 FTSE, um, I'm going to show you only the short term here. That red bull flag was broken and the blue resistance, which had already three touches, was broken and back tested. Now, this green resistance, potential resistance, is going to get there, I believe. Maybe pull back, maybe deep pull back, and then a break to the upside is going to start a run to go beyond 8,000, which was this, this was the new all time high. In February, FTSE 100, I think, is going to break out and go beyond 8,300. DAX is staging a giant multi year breakout. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth touch. This was the fakey, and this was the really big fake here. It came down, but now there was a bull flag here. It was broken. Now the 16,460 now. It is uh, basically it's the sky open skies from here. You can see it could get to 18,000. That's why this whole market is now extremely bullish. TLT um, had let me show you what I thought about what I think about TLT right there. So that golden support this is 2004 2007 and this is the end of 2022 that's why i turned very bullish on tlt at the end of 2022 we rallied but it basically reversed at that blue broken support and the purple broken support you can see it tried to break back in a few times and that this black channel is now in control this black bull flag this was the weekly chart. So I'm going to switch to the daily to show you 
exactly what I think about it right now. That 9850 is is going to be the third touch. So three touches on the top, actually four touches on the top, two touches at the bottom, around 9825. That is going to be a double support, and then we should rally to get to the golden top band, get to the golden, sorry, black top band and rally. 9825, 9850, that's that is going to be a major support in my view. And it's gonna rally at least to that green top band, maybe after that. But 9825 is a very critical number for TLT. All right, now let's have a look at commodities starting with oil now oil is testing this is US oil it broke out of the Red Bull flag and you can see it's pressing on and it's getting to that it's now touching that blue top band that is a potential resistance I've been showing but it's not really holding at the moment which is looking very bullish obviously that red resistance you can see here first second and third touch together with the blue if it can be broken i think we're going to see it run all the way to that black resistance one more time right one two this is three like a resistance rail that is the level for that is 83 so i think that's where it's headed if that blue top band doesn't hold and i and i don't think it's holding at the moment on the other hand that's why i this is why there's a reason I check both um, US oil and Brent oil. So Brent oil hasn't really broken out and you can see that red top band, red bottom band. This is a giant downtrend from the highs of February 2022. This is a really large downtrend. Of course, a bull flag that is as well. So if and when we break out of this bull flag and of course that black resistance, this could turn into a really big rally towards 125 one more time. And I think it will eventually. But are we get are we out of this red downtrend yet? Not really. But it is at the close of Friday, it is already clearing this green rising resistance after a bounce off the blue support. So this is looking very bullish. And the red top band is around 85.50. And of course, why do we why do we have this rally? I've explained a few times that golden top band, the golden bottom band. This was the nice sideways action, which was broken to the upside. We bought it here and we rallied and it, we rode it all the way here. And I thought maybe it's going to come down. That's why I closed the long. Doesn't matter. I, there are more chances coming our way. To, bar, to, to go with a long entry. At the moment, I'm a little bit undecided, but this green resistance break, it's a rising resistance that is breaking to the upside. So that's, to me, is looking very, very bullish now on oil. Brent oil, I mean, that black resistance, one, two, three, four, five, that level, if it breaks, the level for that is around 86. 86.50 if it can break 86.50 then it's going to be open skies above that now we have nat gas um just a second let's have a look at i'm going to close this one right okay so here we are that nat gas continuous chart okay so nat natural gas hasn't broken out just yet. Uh, the blue top band is the potential target if we break out of this green bull flag. Okay, but of course the golden support has to be uh, holding before if we want to get to that blue top band, which is a major potential resistance. Okay, so this green bull flag is forming. We may still see a touch all the way to the red bottom and this could also become a bull flag at the moment it's undecided the real bearish scenario the bearish scenario would be by would be a break of this golden support as simple as that you can see that golden resistance zone that top band caused the reversal i was hoping that it would get to that blue plus golden together so that we could short it at 29.50 
but it fell short. It fell short, it came down, it cleared this purple bull uh, uptrend and even back tested. So at the moment, this green bull flag is the one to watch and this golden support is the one to watch, okay? To me, if this blue top band holds, I think it will come down to below two again. Gold, um, this is the futures chart, all right? That futures chart, I mean, we had a, a gap, gap rollover gap here on Friday, and the top band of the golden, the golden top band, which is a potential resistance on the current gold contract, which maybe is a September or I'm not sure, uh, it's 1990, 1991, the current one, which is at the moment 1978. You can look it up. On the other hand, this is spot chart and the blue, the, the blue top band caused the reversal, three touches. Obviously, this blue channel is a bull flag in the making, but do we have one more down move to get to that blue bottom band before it rallies and breaks out? That is the main question. You can see spot chart, the spot price has broken this black diagonal resistance excuse me, support, and it's back testing it. So tonight uh, at the open or Monday, Tuesday, we should see, uh, we may see some more downside as long as this blue channel holds. If the blue bottom band gets tested, it would also fill this gap in March, which is at 19, 1865. It could get to 1865, 18, 1855 or so, which is the blue bot bottom band, and then we rally to break that black resistance. This is giant black resistance, 2020 high, that one. This is, at this reversal, we turned short, actually. We turned bearish. So that gold, green, and black was the re main reason why I'm still leaning slightly bearish. Many gold people, gold bugs say, oh yeah, you can't short gold on a, on a, in a bull market where I can. <laughs> I can do anything can be shorted. It doesn't matter, especially when you see a major resistance reversal right here, you can short anything. And the lines at work here and that green plus black to deliver the reversal. And we may still come down to the gap fill from March at 1865, $1860 dollars. Let's have a look at silver. So here we are. I'm going to show you the daily chart first. All right. Silver, this is futures chart. All right. Silver, this is 2011 high. This is a giant potential bull flag in the making. So even if silver gets to $30, there may be more downside, at least towards 20 This is a very, very large potential resistance. I'm not saying it will turn into a major resistance but if it gets there and we see a reversal around this futures chart be, be careful if it gets to thirty dollars then we should see uh, i mean if we see a reversal then there is a chance for it to come down big time again okay and actually to my i mean this here hasn't gone anywhere really many people call oh yeah the major silver bull market has started well it hasn't it really hasn't, not yet. Okay, so um, let's have a look at a little bit more short term. This is the black uptrend that is holding. And we have also a gap at 2050. Also from March, this year is 2050. Okay, this golden support rail is holding at the moment. And are we going to see more downside? And if it comes maybe all the way to the red bottom band then it has to break this golden support come down this was a wedge that was broken to the downside we're going to see we're going to see very soon whether that golden support rail breaks and if it does break you can see this internal red support rail that they can all break down for it to at least come down to the red, red bottom band on possible i mean possibly also break this black support Okay, so ha at the moment it's very important. This sell-off obviously is quite important. That that is going to maybe cause a follow-through on silver's downside. 
this is silver spot chart this here is looks like look like a bull flag and it's back test but if it does break back in and if it does break back into the golden failed bear flag you can see it failed it with this obviously there was there was some news here if it does break back in so the spot if it does below if it drops below 24 2390 i think silver spot is going to look very bearish and it should come down again at march this is a huge gap in march at 20 50 dollars 20 dollars 50 uh platinum right the pl platinum has a major bull flag that is the red one this is the high of 2021 right there top band bottom band this red sorry that golden bear flag was broken to the downside and recently back tested even though the blue channel was broken to the upside it's back tested that that golden bear flag and it's now coming down you can see this golden support zone was broken at 9 960 we may get a back test on that at 960 and i think we're going to see more downside all the way to that green bottom band which is at 880 or so 875 880 so platinum still looks bullish to me when is it going to look bullish sorry bearish to me still looking bearish to me when is it going to look bullish the day it breaks that red giant bull flag that's when it's going to look bullish which is at 1100 all right last commodities chart is copper all right that green giant triangle has formed it is a massive triangle right there okay so at 356 it bounced off this green support now it's broken out of the red bull flag right that red bull flag the purple bull flag so i'm going to switch to the four hourly to me to show that that purple bull flag three touches two touches at the bottom broken back tested it's not back tested it hasn't back tested the 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 bull flag itself but it's coming it back tested the breakout level now are we do we have a breakout already no we haven't but it's coming to this green resistance zone anything beyond 386 sorry 96 98 is going to look very very bullish so we may still see it and one more pullback from this blue plus green which is at 394 94.50 and then break out of out of this green that would target 500 as simple as that all right in the long run euro is let me show you right here okay euro had bounced off this red support right there okay and we have this green bull flag that was broken and just recently back tested obviously this sell-off was caused by some news from the gdp uh, data release now do we have the blue top band as a bull flag potential maybe if it gets there maybe pull back and then a rally so the the bull flags back test held and i think euro has more upside all the way to 113 one more time pound sterling again with some news it had so the the bull flag was this that red one so many back tests and we rallied now it has back tested this golden broken resistance this of course was caused by the gdp news data release but i think it's trying to reclaim that blue support that was broken so i still expect more upside once that red bull flag is broken okay 133 is the target us dollar japanese yen is between i'm moving between this golden support rail zone you can see right and this resistance zone right there okay this green bull flag is now broken i 
maybe we get another pullback from this blue resistance zone and then after that I expect 145 but first maybe we get to that 137 138 50 level before it rallies that will be a touch on that red bottom band it hasn't tested yet that yet so 137.50 would be a nice level to buy into US dollar Japanese yen to target 145. Last but not least on the Forex is this blue downtrend on the US dollar index. That blue downtrend, obviously that purple broken resistance, okay, was the back test. This was this turn to support. I've showed this, shown this many times that we may get a uh, a bounce off this level you can see one two three um, broken back test we say a bounce now the blue channel is in control that's why I think we have more downside for US dollar all right uh, and agriculturals coffee is coffee had broken that red channel and back tested it and it came down it's still back testing this blue broken bull flag. Unfortunately, it hasn't really rallied. That green support hasn't really hold properly, even though you know it's kind of holding, but we may still see one more big dive to fill these gaps. At 142, there is a gap from January 2023, January this year. There's another gap here, then there is another gap here, 150. So I'm not sure to be honest um, for it to rally it has to get to the black top and reverse and then a bull flag breakout that would make me interested in coffee wheat is inside this red giant bull flag right there okay so I'm going to show you that red two touches on the top and this is the low massive breakout it cleared this green resistance, came for a back test level. So I'm going to put it on the eight hourly to show you where we are at now. That red bull flag's top band is the ultimate target before maybe it will come it comes down one more time or at least pull back. And the break out of this red is going to start a rally towards 1500. So um, on the other hand, on the short term, you can see. Let me put this on a two hourly to show you that opening megaphone, opening veg, right? Three touches here, two, three, four touches there. If we see a break, I think we're going to see a big rally at least towards 800, 810, and maybe even towards that um, red top band, which is at 830 or so. Okay, so. For me, wheat is looking long-term bullish, right? Long-term bullish. It could get to that 850 level, which is that red top band. But first, it has to break the green resistance. This is soybeans. Um, there is they're very, very spiky because of gap rollovers, massive gaps between contract rollovers. Okay, so it could get to that red bottom band before it rallies to that black top band. This break of that blue resistance and black didn't hold because of huge gaps on the, in the, in the rollovers. This is corn. All right, uh, I'm going to explain why we're long corn big time. All right, there's quite a few lines here. I'm going to just disregard all of them. Just focus on the green, which is 2015 high, this 2019 high and the recent low at 475 was the back test of that that green one okay that's the first support the second support i'm going to remove that red one to show you where we are at at the moment okay so the second support at 475 was this red bull flag that bottom band so green plus red double support right then the blue one that's that made it a triple support okay that long-term triple support and if we see it on the four hourly okay there was another one that is a little bit more short term right there that golden that one broken back tested that golden that made it a quadruple support at 475 that's why i bought it in size at 478 after i saw the bounce 
we and I added I added at 495 after the break and back test so do we have a major run yes I think we will once this black resistance is taken out we may we still have this blue bull flag uh, running the show there is of course this zone that is getting back tested I have looked at it quite carefully um, there is a little gap at 505 um, can't, I don't know if I can find it right now here but um, not not sure 505 has it been has it disappeared I hope it did well if it had sometimes the data is wrong but um, yeah even if if it did then we don't have a gap at 505 and we don't we're not going to fill that gap I thought there was something a kind of a gap here but I can't see it at the moment which is not a bad thing I think we're going to break out of this blue bull flag and then we're going to break it to the to the upside okay <coughs> we're going to break it to the upside to rally beyond and we're going to rally to 600 that is going to be the trade of the year for me okay now cocoa had broken out of this blue bull flag first right that blue bull flag you can see how many touches there Yeah, that blue bull flag is broken the red bull flag was broken out I've I've repeatedly said when 29 was broken we are at 35 now once 29 was broken and 30 was broken it was a it became a long-term bull flag breakout this but a red bull flag is from 2011 and we have this giant uptrend that golden uptrend which targets 8,000 we are at 30, 30 3,500 the target is 8,000 as simple as that last co agricultural commodity is sugar right sugar has had rallied and once when it was rallying I said the golden top band is a potential resistance for a giant bull flag at 27.50 that's exactly where it reversed okay 2750 right 27 just over 27 just over 27 it reversed all right where do we go from here this is a giant bull flag in the making and it hasn't broken out yet so the red support didn't hold we still have I we may still have more downside possibly an internal back test at around 20 okay before it rallies again we may have this blue bull flag forming right and you can see the previous blue resistance break back test that's or that was also very bullish and it while it was running I called a very nice as a target just over 27 and the the bearish reversal is now confirmed anything beyond 2750 is going to look extremely bullish to target 50 60 dollars okay finito now bitcoin has uh stalled a little bit this golden channel is a is a bear flag potential but um it's also targeting 30 40 000 plus if especially if this green channel that bear flag excuse me that that green channel if it can be reclaimed without breaking 28,000 okay so Bitcoin has to break this blue resistance this black one which is not very precise but it is what it is and it should get to for I mean it it has to go beyond 33,000 34,000 to start a really big run towards 40 43 ethereum has had broken this blue resistance at long term one and it's broken out of the green bull flag and it's back testing it as long as it stays above that green support and as long as it stays above that red support 
there is more upside and the target is 34 3500 which is that black top band okay litecoin it has it just broke out this is what i shared with you in the previous videos that red resistance was broken now back tested and i said this here is a veg and it's ready to be broken and it's exactly what it did it broke out at around 90 and we're at 94 and it looks like there is more upside because on the on the long term this bull flag is also broken out right that that turquoise bull flag not the very clean bull flag i must admit but it is what it is it's broken back tested and it looks like there is more upside dogecoin is the big one here right look this giant bull flag that blue bull flag from the highs of 2022 right it has been broken just recently and it has broken the green resistance as well so i'm expecting more upside it's now at eight cents i think it's going to get to 15 20 cents the first target would be that that one which is at right let me show you all right i'm going to put this in that that one it's not red it's i don't know it's burgundy <laughs> that red bottom band the burgundy bottom band and i think it's going to get to a minimum target of 17 from here we're at eight cents 16 17 cents is the minimum target okay and ripple had broken out of the giant green bull flag which i had mentioned a few times and the obvious target on the long term is a new high above 2018 highs or basically get to at least this high which is at uh 190 okay it is broken out of first the blue one and then the green one i'm not going to cover the other coins if you want to know more just ask me via direct message on twitter all right guys take care enjoy the rest of the sunday bye